Hey, baby. You going for some cucumbers? You think there's some more there? I don't think there are. much gone. We got to throw those out. Those are not edible. <laughs> waiting for these tomatoes to turn. That's what we're waiting for. Got a lot of tomatoes on the vines, but they just haven't been turning green. And of course, there's some itty bitty ones. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. There you are. <laughs> yeah. You looking for tomatoes? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you remind me of Scooby-Doo. Always looking for a snack. <laughs> By the way, I wanted to get on here and thank you all for watching my videos, especially interview with my mom and dealing with loss. Those two videos have gone well over a thousand views. I never thought any of my videos would reach a thousand, let alone go over a thousand. That is awesome. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Get out of there right now. Out. How'd you get in there? Get, get, get. You bad. Come on. Out. Yeah. That is why the fence is up. So you won't get in there. You little... I don't even know what to call you right now. Ugh. Bad boy. That's what I call you. Bad boy. <laughs> I got this fence up. I don't know if you can see it. This fence and it's to keep him out of this and what's he do he finds a way in that bad little pup <laughs> I was getting ready to show you my flowers when I saw him in there if he could get in this fence he would he thinks there's cucumbers, but as you can see, they've died off. Here we go again. Did you find a scent? I gotta water these flowers. And I'll just spray you off. Just for the heck of it. <laughs> what you doing? Huh? Making your rounds around the garden. <laughs> There's nothing there. No. I know you wish there was, but there isn't. I've taken some of the um, green tomatoes that got big enough and put them in the window, but they're not turning green. I mean, turning green. They're already green. They're not turning red. I think two of them did, but the rest of them haven't done it. And you don't like green tomatoes. And the ones that's getting any size to them at all are getting eat up. That's nasty. get a tomato. Where'd you find it? I'm glad it wasn't that nasty one I just seen. You like green tomatoes? Ugh. Yuck. Not me. You're determined to find something to eat, aren't you? 
<laughs> it is stinking hot out here. <laughs> I got in my car after work today and it read 102. Now I know that was just because it was sitting in the sun all day, but dang that's hot. Oh, it's probably in the 90s, but it feels like it's about 102. Oh, it's hot. Buddy don't seem to be one bit affected by it. He's just checking out the garden, trying to get some tomatoes. He's giving up on the cucumbers. Check this out. He's trying to get a tomato. He's trying to get it through the fence. Buddy, stop. And these mosquitoes are trying to eat me. I am not feeling these mosquitoes. I got these long pants on because they were going after me with my shorts on. Then now they're trying to get on my arms. I am not feeling that today. <laughs> you can't have the tomatoes, baby. I gotta pull them when they get halfway good size because these bugs are gonna eat them. Not like I'm going to eat them, I'll just give them away anyway. I'm not a tomato eater. I don't know why we're even growing them. Ugh. <laughs> okay, I'm just being goofy. Just being goofy, that's all I'm doing. I am enjoying this evening. It's quiet. Got the house to myself for now. Well, okay, I don't have it totally to myself. I will never have this house totally to myself. I have a dog who is always with me, no matter where I go in this house. My husband calls me Bo Peep, because this dog follows me everywhere, and I mean even in the bathroom. <laughs> there is never any alone time for me, but I'm okay with that. I don't have a problem with it. I'm used to it. I think I would feel funny if he wasn't with me. It's kind of like my right arm. <laughs> now, I'll show you. He's right there. Yep. There he is. <clears throat> I went to the pet store today to get some dog food for him because we totally ran out. And uh, saw all these dogs that people were bringing in to do some shopping. And they were so cute. I wish I could do that with Buddy, but he is not a very sociable animal. He's not socialized at all. He does not do well. I've, I've told you all that before. But anyway, I get a little envious because I would love to be able to do that. And these dogs are so friendly towards other people, which Buddy's friendly towards other people. It's other dogs he's not friendly with. And they're just so cute. And this one dog just walked up to me and just wanted me to pet him. And I petted that dog over and over again. We were in line checking out. Man, that's just wrong. Petting other dogs like that. Wrong. Did you just admit to cheating on your dog? <laughs> and I thought, this just makes me want to go home and pet my baby. And I did, and I got me some buddy time. But what was so funny was I scooped him up in my lap, and he's looking at me like, what are you doing? I don't want you doing this. And he scooted out of my lap and then started barking at me. And I was like, well, okay. He was barking at you because he could smell the other dogs, honey. <sighs> he didn't like that at all. <laughs> <laughs>